Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was up at the 2023 Detroit Autorama, and I came across a very cool 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. How about that? I dig it. I love the color. It's a custom mix. Candy orange color. House of Colors color. I love the gray top. Subtle modifications made to the whole car. Nothing that takes away from the cool of a 1970s Chevelle because they were plenty cool from the factory. But just cleaned it up, tucked the bumpers, added a little aggressive, you know, spoilers here and there. Every panel's been massaged on this car. Nothing was left untouched. And the guy that owns it, Absolute bullets. Just a very, very cool guy. When I first shot it, the windows were up, as you can see, the hood was open, but I really couldn't get interior shots or any of that kind of stuff. And I came back later and he was there and man, just what a, what a great guy. He was like, yeah, I'll put the top down, turn the lights on, whatever you need. I always appreciate that. And I invited him to the uh, 2023 Scotty D TV Dirty Dozen. He accepted that. So if you want to come see the car live, it'll be in Pigeon Forge at the Rod Run, April. It's like April 15th, somewhere in there. Beautiful, clean car. I don't know how long it's been done. I did get some information on it, but I don't know how long it's been done. It's got a 598 Merlin big block in it. 10 to 1 compression, 1050 EFI carburetor, 4L80E, 3000 stall. I like the uh, work done under the hood. Give it a little bit of a street machine vibe. None of the cool of a 1970 Chevelle has been taken away from it. The stance is awesome. I'm a big fan of the color. The modifications that have been made to it. They work, tucking the bumpers, adding a little spoiler to the trunk, things like that, diffuser underneath. I think it all works. Taste, talent, and money. That's what it takes to build one cool, and I think this one's got a healthy dose of all three. Interior, I believe, is out of a 2015 Malibu. It's all custom. But I want to say that the dash is out of a 2015 Malibu. It fits in there perfect. It looks awesome. And it looks like it could have came that way. I like the dark gray and light gray, the roll bar, the stitching on that. Just everything. Just nice. Nicely done. I'm a fan. I love the gauges. I'm a gauge freak. I love those digital ones like that. It's built to drive. 355 gears, custom headers, big brakes front and back. I like the graphics. I like the call hood. Custom fiber, custom fiber, custom carbon fiber wheels. 20 by 13s in the rear, 20 by 10s in the front. How cool is that? So cool, it was freaking the camera out. Now, I just really like that interior. I thought it was a cool car with the windows up, but when I saw that interior, I was like, man, this thing is just awesome. So much that I invited him to the Dirty Dozen, you know, that's 12 hand picked cars every year I'd bring into the Pigeon Forge Rod Run Spring. know I'm going to find something up in Detroit that I'm going to want to bring in now. You just never, you know, you just never know. A lot of first time unveils and then stuff that shows up like this. Cool car. I knew y'all would want to see this one. A little information. So there you go, from the 2023 Detroit Autorama, a very cool 1970 Chevelle convertible.
Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.